If you're in the market for some original, adorable vinyl stickers, then check out my shop, realshawncrummelart.etsy.com. Link below. If you want to check out snippets from my own cartoony sci-fi comic series, Smacked in the Head the Animated Series, hopefully crowdfunding soon, there's a link in the description below. Yo, yo, yo! Early in the life of this channel, I did comic reviews of the Cool World adaptation and the prequel comics. The video was terrible. I didn't know what I was doing, and for some reason it continues to be one of the best performing videos on this channel. So as a blatant excuse to try to capitalize on the fact that you guys keep watching it for some reason, I decided to try a quick sketch exercise where I see if I can draw Hollywood in my own particular ways, not paying attention to being on model, and see if it still comes out looking like the character. Started out by finding a bunch of reference and compiling it alongside the drawing space. I'm saying the more I do these hot chick drawings, the harder it becomes to find a unique pose. I'm probably gonna have to take a break for a bit and do a monster or superhero or something. If for nothing else, just to shake up the channel a bit. I don't know. Anyway, if you haven't watched the Cool World comic reviews from... Oh, jeez, five years ago. You should. Woo! Still not monetized! Uh, I don't know, maybe I should switch to reading news articles other people wrote and commenting on them five times a day with my complete lack of any useful experience. Anyway, this is a pretty straightforward drawing. I used a bunch of reference. I gave Holly basically the outfit from when she's first introduced dancing around in all of her bouncy goodness. While well, that song, My Life of the Thrill Kill Cult, plays, despite not actually being on the soundtrack, so don't bother hoping for it when you go to buy the cassette tape at 11 years old in 1992, my friend. Oh, no! Never knew what they were saying. Yeah, I totally stole that image from eBay, but I'm cool with it, because they're charging $10 for a cassette tape that came out 32 years ago, and charging $14 for shipping. Floppy, thigh-high boots. I gave her the flimsy see-through skirt. It's weird, but, like, you can clearly see straight through it, but she seems more clothed with it on. You'll see when we get to the end. I'll turn it off and on. Or maybe I'm just crazy. Anyway, it's on a separate layer, so you can turn it off and on. I like it, but I don't like it. I'm waiting for you, darling. I honestly have no idea how they did that skirt in the animation. Like, did they have to paint it at, like, a half opacity? Because I basically just made it a white skirt and then lowered the opacity so you could see through it. Can't imagine how you would do that if it was all paint on an animation cell. Unless you had, like, really thin, watery paint. There's bound to be an easier way to do that. True, true talk, friend. This left boob gave me so much trouble. I was trying to represent the mass and also having it spilling over while having it also being contained in whatever she's wearing. If you think that we draw boobs just for fun, there's so much more to it. And it's a lot of fun. So what do you think? 
honestly, I'm not totally crazy about the face. I would probably take another whack at it, but like I said, this was just an exercise. I still mostly dig the drawing overall. Threw in a couple of other color options, just for fun. Yeah, I definitely liked it more without the skirt. This is your idea of heaven, right? And that's it! If you want to watch the absolute horribly done comic reviews, uh, hopefully future Sean has put a link to it at the end of this video. I gotta go figure out what 10 news headlines I'm gonna spout off about to do videos on and finally get monetized. That's it. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. I am not your ordinary doodle!